eight. And uh, we're continuing to huddle the up and down temperature cycle, which is sparing some of us right now. a little more flood worry. Right, and, and the temperatures are down because it's below freezing in the high country right now, but we're going to heat up beginning this weekend, and by next week, we're in the mid-80s. Fortunately, not 90s, or we'd be in real trouble. At 6 o'clock, we're going to look at how much snow is in the mountains and how much water is in the snow. Today, folks out enjoying the park, and uh, yeah, early on, we had a lot of clouds. We had a few showers and thunder showers over the south end of the valley, but as of right now, it has cleared up nicely. Here's what it looks like. On the roof cam looking eastward towards the Wasatch Mountains, of course, the City Creek Center right there, big building, and we have clear skies. This is looking from um, the South Ogden area towards the south end. And here again is the pile of snow high up in the mountains. Very heavy snowpack still there. 64 degrees right now in Ogden. It'll be a mostly clear night tonight, but if you're going out this evening through 10 p.m., it'll drop into the 50s after sunset. 46 overnight, clear and cool in the morning. 64 by noon, mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon. 75 and Saturday. Oh boy, hey folks, 77 and reasonably good weather this weekend. There are a couple of little weather, weak weather disturbances. You see one there, and then here's this street today. Those weak weather systems will create kind of a summer weather pattern on Saturday and Sunday where you get the isolated afternoon or evening pop and drop thunder shower. 72 in Vernal, 82 in Moab. It's 90 in St. George with 75 in Delta. Salt Lake City right now, 65 degrees. Here's the future cast. Here's where things are going to go as we head into Friday. Under clear skies, lots of sunshine. Now, late in the day, we'll see a few clouds and a few showers over northeast Nevada. Pop and drop thunder showers along the Wasatch uh, Plateau and up towards the Uinta Mountains. And the same thing again on Saturday and Sunday. You see these little pop and drop thunder showers that will be near and over the mountains, but likely won't move into the valleys. Beautiful day across eastern Utah, Vernal 72, and again a slight chance for thunder shower in the Uintas, 87 in Moab, so a beautiful day in color country. 100 in Mesquite as the heat begins to build in the south, 93 St. George will see an 80 and a 39 in Richfield with 39 in Manti, a chilly night tonight. 90s stay with us, we cool a little bit, like I said, as that weak weather front moves by over the weekend and early next week, and then the heat is on. Clouds come in Wednesday and Thursday Day, but temperatures warm into the upper 90s. Now the Wasatch Front tomorrow, hardly a cloud. We'll, we'll call it mostly sunny. A few of those cloud buildups late in the afternoon, as you can see here across eastern Nevada. Elko may see a thunder shower, but not in Salt Lake City. Seven day forecast showing you the warm up. 74, then 77. I didn't put it in the 80s over the weekend again because we have those weak weather fronts moving by, but a slow, gradual warm up to the mid 80s Wednesday and Thursday. And you and I talked yesterday about uh, what the possibility of getting into the 90s would be, and I still see a storm about the 18th, 19th, 20th, and that'll cool us down again. Good. So this is kind of the way, the better way for the uh, melt to happen. After that, however, step it down, and after that, it is going to yeah, warm up. We hot. know. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of the way it's looking. Hold our breath.